everything has its own complications spinal surgery is not different it's also it also carries the same same as any other surgery in trained hands and the people I, I don't understand why people spread the message that it is unsafe and uh, the patient is going to be paralyzed maybe some vested interest there so that people don't go for this and mostly the main problem main problem or maybe the main factor behind this the most of the people are suffering from from disc related problems there are 33 vertebrae and 23 disc in our vertebral column the placement of the disc is such that there is the but the vertebrae can freely move and give the contour of the spine and uh, protect the neural structures so you, uh, this there is a lot of good involved in the function of the disc but unfortunately 90% of spinal surgeries are secondary to the disc related problems so the disc is actually deprived of proper blood supply it gets its nutrition oxygen and glucose from the adjacent vertebral body by a process called diffusion but there can be the, the oxygen and glucose comes through the uh, small pores in the end plates this abnormality the abnormality to these end plates and the transfer of these nutrients can be genetically mediated so the environmental factors nutritional factors and genetic factors all these interplay to for the degeneration of the disc so when the disc degenerate the jelly like material inside the disc called the nucleus hardens and it protrudes out into the spinal canal and touches the nerves or irritate any of the pain sensitive structures which are all our pain sensitive structures around the disc except the disc proper so the patient can feel pain and most of this 80 to 90 say 80 to 90 percent of this problem gets settled by itself the body takes care of it so if you treat just like an, a viral fever if you treat for viral fever it will settle in seven days otherwise also it will settle in seven days so the most of this problem the pain and everything uh, gets settled in its due course we can't say which how many days maybe in a week two week or three, two weeks or three weeks but many people take advantage of that that we think that it is because of our pain medication or because of the physiotherapy or any other form of treatment this happens and only a few percentage with a significant compression to the nerves and nerve or the spinal cord requires surgery or with the persistent pain or instability they require surgery which can be done very safely so because it settles by itself people say because of the other treatment it has uh, come good and uh, if you see the other modalities of treatment just like chemotherapy radiotherapy uh, all this also have its own effect on the body suppress the bone bone marrow the immunity and but that so the treatment should be individualized depending on the requirement of the patient when the patient needs uh, radiotherapy alone that should be given when the patient needs uh, chemotherapy it should be given or when the patient needs surgery that should be given